All right, guys, we're gonna go over shimmy again um, because there seems to be a little bit of confusion. So what we're using is Polini Variator, TFC dry face. This is a ZX pulley in the rear and a KN belt. So I'm just gonna show you if I can find my second boss here. Here it is. So one boss is longer than the other. I'm gonna show you the difference, okay, with, with the long boss first. Okay, when you put this, when you put your dry face on, you always wanna pull this tight and work your belt in like this. Because if you if you tighten this dry face down, pinching on the belt, <clears throat> um, likely it won't set. This thing won't set all the way because it'll squeeze against the belt and uh, it'll loosen up. So first, this is the long boss to give you an idea. In order to find the proper fitment, of the boss you can't you got to run the bike you got to at least idle it and run it to get that belt to settle into place so for example see that boss is too long okay that boss is way too long but i'm just doing this for example Let's see here okay there it goes so that's your fitment on a longer boss that boss is too long it should be gripping that face but i just want to show you pardon the carpet i'm upstairs this bike is in storage i just wanted to uh show you guys so that's a long boss okay let's do a short boss if you guys want more videos just let me know we can make more so long boss is out short boss is in this is why polina variators rock you can run your oem bosses where a lot of the different brands you can't run OEM bosses, they don't fit. So, okay, I'm gonna set this camera back up. So again, now we have the short, we have the short boss. So the short boss is gonna represent basically like a stock stock boss, and the long one's gonna be after you've shimmed it. And also remember. This washer needs to be the uh, the conical type of washer that has a little bit of a bow to it. You put a flat washer on there, you're gonna risk messing up your splines. There you go. See how tight this is now? It's too tight. Because what's going on is this belt is going up further further on the variator so again this is just this is actually pretty good fitment in the rear that that boss actually fits really well with this face but just showing you the difference okay this is with the shorter boss on here every setup is going to be a little bit different but that's with the shorter boss and you see how tight it is so if you run a boss that's too short this is going to keep is going to be further up in the front and then this is going to be further down in the back so if you had it if you weren't shimmed right and you've got if your rear clutch if your rear pulley looks like this then that means your belt is further up in the front which means your boss is too short your variator is put together incorrectly um but basically I'll show you what you're looking for here some people everybody everybody does this a different way but see how far that hangs over that edge there and then you also have to remember this guy has a lip on it too so if your butt if your belt way out here like this well clearly that's that's not correct so that looks about perfect actually on this is how i would run this bike looking at it a little bit closer i'd probably put one shim in it because what i like to do is i like to have just a tiny tiny bit of slip just a tiny bit of slip like that. That's what I like to do because the second this fires up, the rollers come out and they grip the belt a little bit. Again, everybody's uh, methods are a little bit different, but just to show you the difference of um, a long boss versus a short one. If your boss is too long, you've got too many shims, your belt, your belt is just gonna slip and your belt is eventually gonna wear down because this is just gonna spin and spin and spin and spin until you get to a certain RPM to where the pulley closes up and grips a little bit, um, or I should say the pulley opens up and grips on this belt. So, your boss and shimming um, is huge. If you've got uh, bogging on your bottom end, if you have bogging on your bottom end, it bogs for a long time and then takes off, your issue lies, your issue is your shimming 
you want this belt to be way up here. If this belt is way up here, when it's idling, then you're probably fine. It's probably like that right there. It's about perfect fitment. That's what I would like to see on my bikes. So hopefully this helps a little bit. Um, I'll do another one on um, clutch spring engagement as well. Um, you also have to remember when you're, what I like to do is, is if you've got a bog down below and you know, we get a customer's bike in or something or I'm working on, on it, I like to take the cover off and rev it up. If, 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 if this transmission starts shifting before the clutch grabs, then your variator set up improperly. Either your clutch, your contra spring's too soft, your rollers are too heavy. So if you you rev this thing up and your and your and your clutch is not quite grabbing and you see this pulley start to shift like this, that means your engine's shifting um, before your clutch is grabbing. So then when your clutch decide then when your clutch does grab, then you've got a um, too much load on your engine basically your your transmission should not be shifting before your clutch grabs you want your clutch to grab first and then you want your transmission to shift second if you get this to shift while your clutch is engaging um it's just it's never going to be right it's always going to bog um and you're not taking full advantage of your transmission you want this thing to be at, at its highest point before your clutch grabs so ideally you want this to start shifting um right when this thing is locking up is is ideal or this to start shifting a little bit after this locks up so that's where your um, spring engagement your adjustment in here on the stage six that's where this is really nice because you can really you can find fine, fine tune it if you just ch are changing out springs um, you have large increments so one spring may be too tight one may be too um, too soft so that's why the stage sixes and Pelini's come in really nice um, so yeah hopefully that explains a little bit uh, I'm gonna do more on the clutch spring engagement basically just take a video of a bike starting with the clutch springs too loose and then take a video of a clutch or a bike taking off with the clutch springs tighter show the difference between the two so you guys got any questions or requests um, if you want to see a specific video on a certain thing just let me know um, but yeah subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll just keep making videos thanks